just a couple seconds revisiting some of the hints and reminders that we sent out about the front car line. I sit right here so I see it and I see that there's a little bit of struggle and maybe some confusion. And so I hope that I can clear that up for you. This is an illustration that we typically show in August when everybody is here, but I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview of it or a reminder. Um, and so this is what it looks like. If you have a lower and upper student, but also have a toddler or a primary or middle school siblings, you do not need to use this front driveway, um, the big one, right? You're only going to use the front drive. Why? Because as you might have seen, we're going to bring your sibling to you in the upper and lower car line at that 315 dismissal. So just stay in your car wait for your two children to be matched together and come over, okay? It's gonna be just fine. What you're gonna do is you're always gonna pull through the front of the drive, so you're gonna see that. So there are orange, no, sorry, yellow cones there that say upper. So you have an upper elementary child, that's where you stop, okay? Don't pull all the way through, just stay right there. And then once you have your child or children, you may exit in between where currently those bushes are. There was a yellow chain there and we dropped the yellow chain and then you can exit and be on your merry little way. But we're asking you to not get so comfortable at making left-hand turns. Right now in the summer, the volume on Cedar Knolls is not much, but just to let you know that when we all come back and Umble ISD comes back, um, there's gonna be a lot of cars on that street. So just know your way to get home if you're forced to only take a right you have a lower elementary child, then please pull all the way to the front. You're gonna see the cones there and your teachers are gonna wave for you and that's where you pull up to, okay? We're gonna walk your children all the way to there. You're gonna exit the same way. In the summer, it's a little bit easier to take a left. In the fall, lefts are not your friends. School buses, lots of cars. Are we okay so far? Here's where the next tricky thing is. So we, if you are a lower elementary family okay, and you pull into the drive, but there's not a spot for you yet in the three stations in the front for, for lower L, you may do a double line. You may sit next to an upper elementary car, but the minute that there is a space available, you see a little orange car, <laughs> you get to move up and take that spot. You are not stopping your car. You're not getting out. Think of it like the airport. There is the loading lane that's up against the curb. And then that outer band is for moving cars, okay? So if now you're an upper elementary parent and it's time for you to leave, just please look over your left-hand shoulder and make sure that that car can pass out and do not pass up through the middle. If that makes sense. We did replace the yellow chain. It's now a metal chain. And so once that metal chain is up, it's up and that could hurt your car. Does this clear this up for you? I, I hope it does. Just some last minute kind of seems obvious reminders, but we um, were in the middle of the heat, right? And as such, it might be your interest in keeping your car engine running. Um, if you are leaving your car, do not, um, do not leave the engine running um, with nobody in it. Even if you have one of those cars that you say that you can do that, we have seen cars getting stolen. Yep, we're in Kingwood, but it happens. We have seen people open up car doors and steal things. I have seen a dog jump from the front seat to the back seat and throw the car in drive and the car drive off. I know it's hot, but make sure nobody is in your car. Yeah turn your car off and safely come up to the school if you need us, but we can't have engines running and car doors open. Um, things can happen, okay? So we're gonna play it safe. If you have any questions, I'm right here, come ask me. Uh, we'll revisit this again in the fall when everybody is here. We're very excited. We're getting ready for a whole bunch of stuff to happen this summer and getting ready on uh, the school year, starting back up when everybody comes back. We're really grateful you're here. Um, that's it, bye.